Today, we'll be creating this oil pastel painting of a nebula in space. The background will be laid in with watercolour, so it's a bit of a mixed media project really. So let's get into it. For this project, we'll be using a 24 piece oil pastel set. Some watercolours, we'll only be using the white and black for this project. For a surface, we'll be using a 300 GSM sheet of watercolour paper. And to blend our oil pastels, we'll be using some blending stumps. We'll also be using some tape to tape our sheet of paper down, a white charcoal pencil to draw up our scene, a Harkey brush to lay down a black wash, and an old hog bristle brush to flick on some white paint. The first step is to tape a sheet of that lovely cotton watercolour paper down to a surface. In this case, I'm taping it directly to the table, and I'm just using packaging tape. We can then draw in a shape so we can lay in the background. We then mix up some black watercolour with some water and create a layer over the surface using a Harkey brush. Harkey brushes are made from very soft goat hair and provide a nice consistent layer. Allow this coat to dry. If the sheet buckles a little while it's wet, it will tighten up and flatten itself once it's dry. Once it's dry, we can draw up the scene. This is just to remind us of the shape to follow. So we just have to lay in the shapes roughly. Just try to suggest a big swirling scene. We can then use that old hog bristle brush to flick white paint onto the surface to suggest those stars. To get a good viscosity to flick, dip the brush in water, then into white paint directly from the tube and flick it with your finger. Allow this white to dry. Refer to the finished artwork for colour guidance, but remember cosmic clouds can be any colour. To create the blue cosmic clouds, we can lay down ultramarine first, blend it out, then lay azure over the top. To add the colour, gently apply the oil pastel to the surface and then use a blending stump to soften the edges and scrub it into the background. We can then add a slightly lighter version of the colour over the top. In this case, the first tone is scarlet, then vermilion is laid over the top. Remember to keep the spiral shape in mind when applying colour. We can then lighten into in areas by gently blending white into the colour. From here, we can just keep adding colours. Reds to oranges to yellows to white, which is the colour of the epicentre of the nebula. A little trick is to start from the left and work across the page. This way, the back of your hand doesn't come into contact with the oil pastels. Remember, lights over darker tones and soften the edges of the clouds. While you're here, take a look around the Create section on our site and uncover a whole heap of free stuff. From free projects, handy tips and tricks and techniques to keep you busy. When two colours are to be blended into one another, like this bottom cloud, lay the colours side by side and blend them together with small circular motions.
final step is to apply some larger stars by dipping the point of a small blending stump into some of the white paint and applying spots over the work. And voila! Well, thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this fun lesson and hope you're inspired to create your own nebula painting. Have fun creating and we'll see you in the next one.